Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lecture. Example 1. Solve the following inequalities using number line. X is such that X is greater than or equal to 0 and X is less than 5 intersect with X is greater than 4 and X is less than 7. Now let's draw some number line. So on top of 0, we're going to put a closed circle and on top of 5, we're going to put open circle and let us connect these two circles with a straight line. On top of 4 and 7, we're going to put both open circles and connect these two circles with a straight line. Now let's do the operation of intersections. Intersection is where two lines or more overlap. So this is where the two lines overlap. So therefore, the solution set is x is such that x is greater than 4 and x is less than 5. Negative infinity to 7 union with negative 7 to positive infinity. On top of 7, we're going to put open circle. And for negative infinity, we're going to represent it with a left side arrow. On top of negative 7, we're also going to use open circle. And... For positive infinity, we're going to represent it with a right side arrow. Union means the section where at least one line seen. So for this question, the section start with negative infinity until positive infinity. So we're going to write down the solution in interval form as negative infinity to positive infinity. Both are written using round brackets because negative infinity and positive infinity are not actual numbers. x is such that x less than or equals to 4 intersect with x greater than or equals to 4. So on top of 4, we're going to use closed circle, both as equal sign, less than or equals to, and greater than or equals to. For x less than or equals to 4, we're going to represent it with a left side arrow. But for x greater than or equals to 4, we're going to do the opposite arrow, which is a right side arrow. If you can see here, these two lines doesn't overlap, but actually, these x less than or equals to 4 and x greater than or equals to 4 overlap at x equals to 4. So the solution set is 4. Half open interval 0, 3 union with open interval negative 4, 2 union with close interval negative 1, 5. So for 0, 3, on top of 0, we're going to use open circle because this is a round bracket. And on top of 3, we're going to use closed circle because this is a square bracket. So let's connect these two circles with a straight line. For negative 4 and 2, we're going to use both open circles because both using round bracket. For negative 1 and 5, we're going to use closed circles because both using square brackets. Now, Let's do the operation for union. Our section here start with negative 4 to 5. Half open interval 3, 5 union with half open interval 4, 8 intersect with open interval negative 1, 2. So we're going to do this first bracket first. On top of 3 is open circle and on top of 5 is closed circle. Connect these two circles with a straight line. On top of 4 is closed circle 
and on top of it is open circle connect these two circles with a straight line and union so this is the section where 3 5 union with 4 8 so for both negative 1 and 2 we're going to use open circle then this is a section for negative 1 2 so since we are looking for intersection between this part and this part so it seems like there is no intersection between these two sections therefore we may write down as now set this is an alternative method for the previous question which is using property so the property we're going to use is A union B intersect C which is the same as if we do A union B then we're going to intersect with A union C so for this question what we're going to do is we're going to find the intersection between 3 to 5 and negative 1 to 2 so let's draw the number line so this is the section for 3 to 5 and this is the section for negative 1, 2. So there is no overlap lines between these two sections. So it's going to be an R set. Next is we're going to union with 4 to 8 intersect with negative 1, 2. So let us find the intersection between these two first. 4 to 8 negative 1 to 2 same goes there is no overlap lines between these two so another null set and if we union these two null set we're going to get another null set example 2 given a is 9 to infinity and b x is such that x is greater than or equal to 7 and x less than 13 where x is subset of integers solve a intersect b and a union b using a number line so for set a let represent it on a number line so 9 on top of 9 is open circle and right side arrow for b where b x is integers let's list out the integers between 7 include 7 and 13 but exclude 13 so the integers are 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so we can represent these integers with a closed circle Now let us find A intercept B. So if you can see here, A intercept B is 10, 11, and 12. So we may write down in solution set. For A union B, union means all the elements that belong to both A and B. So we may start with 7. 8 and 9 all the real numbers to the right including 10 11 and 12 so we may represent it with 9 include 9 to positive infinity so we can combine these two with the symbol union before we end our lecture for today please do this exercise or you may click the link in the description box below for Google Form exercise and answer. Thanks for learning. Sincerely, Teacher One.